Hey guys, what's going on? So it's been a while. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about titles in The Burning Crusade. So pretty much at this point, Blizzard has confirmed that The Burning Crusade will uh, be next on the horizon. It's unlikely that we'll have uh, Classic Plus, and it's also unlikely that we'll just stay in uh, you know, Classic WoW forever. It does seem that they're going to be doing The Burning Crusade. Now, we're not 100% certain that you're going to have your characters continuing over from Classic WoW, but I would say that it's pretty likely that Blizzard will do this as people have grown attached to their characters and not many people are going to want to start fresh as a level one or, you know, a level 58 or 60 templated character. Uh, most people are going to want to be able to take their character that they have now in Classic WoW and uh, take that experience over into the Burning Crusade. I know that's personally what I would like to do. Um, now, with this being said, there are a few things in Classic WoW that you can do right now to start becoming prepared for the Burning Crusade. I know it's still a long ways off, but in this video I'm going to talk about something that is actually going to take quite a while to obtain, and so it's a good thing that you start working about it, or excuse me, working on it, or just thinking about it right now uh, as if it's something you want to do. And that is going to be titles in the Burning Crusade. So right now with the PvP system, when you rank up to a certain title, so let's say Knight, when you rank up to Knight, what's going to happen is you need to keep PvPing constantly uh, throughout the weeks to uh, maintain that title. And if you stop PvPing, obviously a lot of you know that you're going to derank over time. So the PvP titles really don't matter too much in uh, Classic WoW as they're just kind of a week by week basis of what, you know, what rank you're at. However, in uh, the Burning Crusade, you will have the option to show your uh, highest PvP rank, and there won't be anyone that you know are starting fresh in the Burning Crusade who can obtain those ranks anymore. So they will be officially, uh, you know, out of the game, but you will kind of be able to showcase your highest rank. So this is something to keep in mind. Uh, obviously, if you've only ever done a little bit of PvP and your rank is, you know, scout grunt, sergeant, private, corporal, those ranks are going to be pretty common among players and you're not going to stand out very well against other players. Now since there's no uh, achievement points, there's no achievements, there's very very few titles that you can even get in the Burning Crusade, uh, so PvP titles are a way for you to kind of bring over some of your classic WoW uh, prowess and bring it into the Burning Crusade. Uh, it's just kind of a fun way to stick out among the crowd, obviously. Now, there's going to be a lot of players that have um, these titles, so don't think too much into it. But I would say that if you're like me, who hasn't done much PvP, currently I'm rank 5 on my Druid, uh, I'm going to look to rank to probably uh, 6 or 7 because I really like uh, Stone Guard and Blood Guard. Those titles are both... Uh, pretty cool sounding to me, and uh, they're also a little bit harder to achieve for just the average player. Obviously, if, if I have more time, I might go to rank 11, which is uh, Lieutenant General, because I think that title looks cool. It's kind of long, so it's, it's very noticeable on a player, and also that unlocks the mounts. I don't really care about the gear, obviously, so uh, it would be nice to also have those uh, PvP mounts, as that's another way for you to stand out above the crowd. Now, right now on the screen, I'm going to post up the different uh, ranks and the names that those ranks correlate for Alliance and Horde. I would suggest figuring out a rank that uh, sounds good to you. Obviously, this is not something you need to do, but like I said, it's something that you can do in Classic WoW that you won't be able to do in the Burning Crusade. So it adds a little bit of value to your character, uh, makes you a little bit more unique, and just kind of gives you something to do uh, in the meantime between the burning or between classic wow and obviously the burning crusade coming out now i'm going to have a lot more tips on things you can do to get ready for the burning crusade way down the line when burning crusade is getting closer i just wanted to put this out now because ranking obviously does take some time uh, in terms of how long it does take to rank it's really not too bad for the lower ranks obviously my druid right now is rank five like i said and that's just doing a few battlegrounds per week uh, and just kind of maintaining that rank. Now, it's obviously going to get slightly easier as less and less people 
are worried about ranking. Uh, the PvE gear is getting more and more um, on par with the PvP gear, so there's not quite as much incentive to uh, push those ranks. Uh, if you are just out there to play casually, uh, you could easily get to rank 6 to 8 with no problem. And then obviously those last few ranks, if you want to say get to rank 11 to get the PvP mounts, that's where it's going to take some time. Rank 9, 10, and 11 will take uh, quite a bit more time than it did for the other ranks. But uh, if you kind of figure out uh, your play style, how long you can put into the game, uh, you can easily find a rank that's suitable for you and then also still uh, gives you, you know, a cool title for when you go into the Burning Crusade. So hopefully this video was helpful, guys. Uh, I know I haven't been putting out quite as much content lately. Uh, it's just basically because I don't want to be recycling uh, other content that other people are putting out or uh, talking about things that are just irrelevant to the game right now. I have a lot of ideas for uh, when we get closer to the Burning Crusade. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out for those. And then for the time being, guys, just enjoy some of those other YouTube channels that are still putting out really good quality content. So thanks for obviously subbing and sticking around. And I definitely will have more content coming in the future. So see you guys later.